Welcome to Brockton, the self-titled city of champions, but with good reason. Marvellous Marvin Hagler was born here, as was the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Rocky Marciano. The number of champions this small city in the northeast of America has produced is nothing short of incredible. And a big part of the community here in Brockton are hoping for another winner, this time at the African Cup of Nations. And that's because more than a third of the population of Brockton will be cheering on Cape Verde. Behind the African country's capital, Praia, and Lisbon in Portugal, Brockton has more Cape Verdeans than anywhere else in the world. Around 50,000 to be exact, all wanting a serving of the American dream. It's the story of Rocky Marciano. I mean, the Rocky Marciano story, the son of Italian immigrants that fights his way out of the shoe factories to become the, the heavyweight champion of the world. I tell that story to Cape Verdean kids every day because it's, it's just as, that story is just as meaningful to Cape Verdean and Haitian kids growing up in the city today as it is to uh, Italian Americans. The finals in Equatorial Guinea will only be the second African Cup of Nations Cape Verde has ever qualified for. David Texera came to the USA as a child from Africa and now runs several businesses. He says the last tournaments when they reached the quarterfinals in South Africa brought the whole community together and the expatriates in Brockton feel they can do even better this time. We get experience for mm. the first time, you know, now we got a little bit of experience than last time. And I think we will do, we will do better than what we did last time. That's on my hope <laughs> to do better. <laughs> hope rather than expectation then for Cape Verde, but if they do manage to pull off a major shock or two, a new mural may be needed in Brockton. Alex South, BBC News.